lovely Hildren, it's me, Hilda. And uh, I was too lazy to do my hair today. So that's why it looks like this. It's fuzzy and shit. It is the end of January and February. February is a word I can't pronounce um, and it's starting tomorrow. So it's time for another monthly nerdgasm. And I'm just gonna start because I let myself go slightly. I always say that. Don't I say that every month? Oh, I let myself go. I was going to not buy much, but I did. <laughs> Every single month this happens. First of all, I'm having a cup of tea right now and it is in a mug that was designed by uh, someone I've been following for quite some time. It is... It's filled with these adorable Pokemon sprites and I love it so much and I wanted to get a t-shirt and then I was like... No, I have too many t-shirts, let's just get a mug. So now I drink my tea from this and it's great, so... This tea is cold. Now, while we're at the Pokemon uh, business, I'm not sure uh, if I showed this in my previous video, but you know what? This is Magikarp. He's now my favorite plush Pokemon that I own just because he just looks so fucking derpy, doesn't he? Like, what the fuck? I love you, Magikarp. Corp, 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 corp. I also got some shirts from streamers that I like, which, you know, I'm subscribed to them and you should be to, well, not subscribe to them. You should watch them because they're cool, so I'll show you. First, I got a shirt from Shannonina, who is not only a streamer I really like, but also a good friend of mine. Um, I will put the links to these people down below. Isn't it the cutest, though? It says, I like your chest, and it's a cat in a chest. I mean, I thought I'd just describe it to you in case you didn't get it. Was it useful? Please say yes. <laughs> I also got a shirt from um, Okadrian's stream. He is an awesome streamer who is hilarious and he plays like very weird games, which I also enjoy watching. He has a nice soothing voice that I like to listen to while I'm in bed. Is that too much information? I don't care. Hi, Adrian. <laughs> and I also got a Pokemon shirt. What? A Pokemon shirt? Yes. Uh, it's straight out of Johto. I thought it was awesome, so I um, I just got it. It's a relaxed fit. I don't even know what that means, but it's it is comfy. So whatever, I'm I'm good. I um, have always been a really big fan of Nendoroids, but I can't really afford them because they're really expensive for some weird reason. So I got one off eBay. It is Umaru Chan. It came in a bit of a like fucked up box, so I'm gonna just gonna take her out now. It has um, Umaru Chan at the top, and then some different faces and a butt. I don't know what that butt's doing there. And different types of food, drinks, all that kind of shit. It's absolutely adorable. This is the actual figure. Um, it is adorable. I mean, look at it. And I guess I'll have to open it up. All oh, right. Okay. So you take this off. And then you take the head up. Oh, you can just- you can take everything apart! Oh my god. I'm just gonna put the weirdest face on because I enjoy weird things. Um, I guess I can also take the legs off. I've never had an endoroid, okay? This is confusing. I really hope I'm doing it right. So, <laughs> I just- I just broke her arm as well. Oh god. You gotta be delicate for this kind of stuff, which I am, uh... I'm not. I changed her head to this, now she looks weird and derpy, and I, I just freaking love this. Amaru-chan is just an anime that I really enjoy, and of course, like all girls on the internet, I really in identify with her. Because she's cute! No, because uh, she likes to eat and sleep a lot, which I also enjoy doing. Next up, I got some more amiibo. This time I got uh, both Tom Nook and Mabel. They're just... I, I almost have my collection complete. I only need... KK slider now and I think there's more coming out which is depressing because I cannot keep buying these but I can and I will. Hello? I think Tom Nook is a cutie. Uh, he has a little fat belly which I think is adorable and uh, Mabel is just pretty awesome. She's really detailed which I like and um, yes Amiibo. I don't have any of those yet. <laughs> I told you before that I had been waiting on um, some orders of Funko Pops. I received one of them and I ordered another one. So I have 10... <laughs> I have 10 new Funko Pops this month. First, I went on a TV show um, 
haul, kind of. This is from American Horror Story, which is a show I really love. It's the Tatler twins, which I thought were an amazing character. It's a really weird looking pop, but I like it. So, um, yeah, it's it's kind of cute, man. Then for my Adventure Time collection, I got myself Marceline, which is one of my favorite characters in Adventure Time. I'm gonna put her next to Princess Bubblegum, my cutie, and um, they can chill together. It's gonna be fun. She's really heavy for some weird reason. I don't know why. This one makes me truly happy. I got Tina Belcher from Bob's Burgers, my true spirit animal. I love her so much. I could marry her. Please love me, Tina. Uh... Oh yeah, she, um, th this is what I noticed. She's holding a tiny book. Um, I can show it to you here, maybe. I don't know if it will, uh, if you can read it. But she's holding a tiny book and it's, of course, her erotic friend fiction book. And I just think it's completely adorable. She is just... she's amazing. She's amazing. Then more TV show... <laughs> and then some more TV show stuff. I got a Weeping Angel from Doctor Who, which is one of my favorite um, type of... what do you call it? Alien character thing. Um, they look terrifying, but I think they're amazing. So I, I I had my eye on this one for quite some time and I finally got it, yay! I also had my eye on um, a Dalek for quite some time. And um, then I stumbled upon this one, which is an evolving Dalek. It has, I mean, I, I hope it, you can see it. I'll show it on this side. So it has like the, the Dalek living thingy coming out of it. It was slightly more expensive than most pops. It is a underground toys exclusive. Um, but I thought this one was so awesome because it's like, you know, you know. I also got two more Marvel pops. Ant-Man, the one I was waiting for for a very long time. It, I can put it next to my yellow jacket now. It's gonna look great. And um, Thanos, which I'd also been waiting on for quite some time. It is an oversized one. It looks amazing. I think what, this is one of the best looking Marvel pops. Didn't I make it a thing to like take the big ones out of the package to have a better look at them? I don't remember. I'll take this one out. Holy shit, what is speaking? <laughs> I just think this one is absolutely amazing. Look at it. Oh, look at it. Look at it. I also got a... Um, Killer Croc from Batman Arkham Asylum, which is my favorite Batgam, Batgam? Batman game. It also means that I almost have my Arkham Asylum collection complete. I just need the Joker, which is impossible to find for some weird reason. Last but not least, two characters from my favorite game, like my most favorite game ever, Elizabeth and Booker DeWitt from Bioshock Infinite, which is just an amazing, amazing game. I love that game. I replayed it in the previous month because I hit 2K subscriber, uh, followers, 2K followers on um, Twitch and 2K produced or whatever you call it, this fucking game. I thought it was very clever and I loved playing it again. And these pops are just amazing. I love Elizabeth and I love Book of the Wit. I got the one with the Skyhook. There's also one without the Skyhook, but why would you get the one without the Skyhook when it's the same price? Am I right? Just get the fucking Skyhook. This has been a huge stack of crap and uh, I need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> I need to calm down. So I'm just gonna calm down now. I'm uh, gonna try and find a place to put these. That's going to be hard, and um, I will see you again soon. Goodbye!